Mali was dead to begin with. This must be distinctly understood, or nothing wonderful can come of this story. A Merry Christmas, Uncle! Bah! Humbug! replied Scrooge. Oh, but he was a tight-fisted hand at the grindstone, Scrooge. A covetous old sinner. That night, the ghost of Scrooge's old business partner, Marley, appeared and warned Scrooge of his dreadful fate. But hope was given to Scrooge in the form of three spirits who were to visit him that very night. The first spirit showed Scrooge his past, from his lonely childhood in boarding school to the joyous days of working under old Fezziwig to meeting Belle and ultimately losing her. The second spirit took Scrooge to the home of his underpaid clerk, Bob Cratchit. God bless us, everyone, exclaimed Tiny Tim. The spirit told Scrooge that Tiny Tim would soon perish if the shadow of the future remained unaltered. Hark, my time to leave draws near, said the spirit. Scrooge's blood turned cold as the third spirit materialized before him. No spirit, please. I am not the man I was. It's my own room. Heavens be praised, the three spirits shall strive within me. Scrooge was better than his word, and to Tiny Tim, who did not die, he was a second father. He became as good a man as the good old city knew. And so, as Tiny Tim observed, God bless us, everyone.